What is up, you Kalimbaggers? Kalimbaggers, eh, no? Welcome to another episode of Kalimbanizing Series. A series where I talk about Kalimba and I teach something about Kalimba. Are you thinking of buying your first Kalimba? Or maybe you're, you're going to buy another Kalimba? This video may help you. I'm giving you some tips or things to consider before you buy your Kalimba. Coming up. Well, I'm not here to tell you what to buy or I'm not promoting any Kalimba uh, brands, alright? I'm here to give you some tips or guidelines what to think first or how to think prior to buying your own Kalimba. If you are going to search for product review, this is not a video for you. You can just go ahead and compare the products, I mean Kalimba, in, the, in YouTube and you can see a lot of videos there comparing the sound. But I'm here to give you more of, uh, you know, things to think about. Alright, I hope that's clear before we start. Basically, there are only two parts of kalimba as for materials. We have the wood and the tines or the keys. Kalimba works like this. If you pluck this time, it will vibrate and the sound will be produced by the body. Okay? Here's the general tip. Those cheap kalimbas in the market, they installed generic tines. And that's why people are complaining about number three here and number two right here because they don't vibrate that much so before buying you need to consider what wood they are using and what times they have installed so i guess just don't buy two cheap kalimbas all right so i'm not going further into woods and times you just need to search further into that but here are my tips tip number one expensive kalimba will only be enjoyed by experienced musician what i mean by that is it doesn't just speak about kalimba but it covers all musical instruments those people who are earning through their craft through their music then fine they can buy kalimba expensive kalimba because they can enjoy it and by enjoying i mean it's worth it it's worth the price all right but as for you or me so in my case i won't buy expensive kalimba I'm fine with this. I will buy a kalimba that will serve my purpose of buying it. So I only have a mid-range price kalimba with pickup because I want looping music. And if you want to see how I produce the sound <laughs> through the speaker and looping, you know, and loop with my looper, you can just check out the video right here. So what I'm trying to say is, if you will buy expensive kalimba, let's say you're an, you're a beginner, or let's say you have played a lot of songs already and you are now um, enthusiast, alright? Is it worth it? So that's what I mean. Is that price worth it? They earn money out of music, alright? So it's okay. Ako, I haven't earned any money out of music, at least not yet, alright? So I won't buy too expensive kalimba. That's tip number one. Tip number two, too cheap kalimba will not motivate you to learn. Alright, so as you see, my first tip and my second tip is connected because I'm showing you both ends. I'm showing you two extremes, the expensive one and the cheapest one, alright? As for expensive ones, of course, they have the highest quality material. That's why those people who earn money out of music, they can enjoy it, alright? Because it, it, it has the best wood and so on and so forth. But that's the exact opposite of... Tip number two, if you buy two cheap kalimba, the cheapest kalimba, let's just say, um, they use cheapest materials, wood, tines, and maybe you will not hear the sound anymore. You won't hear that at all with cheap kalimbas. So um, the effect is you will not be motivated to learn and you just gonna leave it there in the cabinet until it breaks <laughs> by itself. Alright, so you understand what I mean? Don't buy too cheap kalimba or don't buy the cheapest kalimba in the market, alright? Unless there's just a there's a review that, that kalimba is really good although it's cheap, then go for it. But I don't suggest at all because I just go for mid-range. So that's my tip. Alright? Mid-range will be the best as for my you know case and in my opinion. So Number one tip, expensive kalimba will only be enjoyed by experienced musician. Number two, the cheapest kalimba will not motivate you to learn. Alright, so tip number three, choosing your kalimba will always be subjective. 
after an objective way. So what do I mean by that? So let's just say you study the wood, you study the signs, and then you watch a lot of product review, you, you read a thread, and you just, you inform yourself with everything about Kalimba. And then you're still weighing, right? So you just need to ask one last question. Okay? So maybe, let's just say you're deciding what color you want. Brown, blue, or transparent. Okay? This last one question will help you a lot. And the question is, do I want it? And that's what I'm trying to say. Okay? If you want that kalimba, regardless of other variables, just go for it. Just buy it. Okay? As long as you follow the previous two tips. And those are my tips. I hope you learned something. If this video helps you, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more. Maraming salamat po ang isang muli nating pagkikita. Paalam. God bless.